Hey poetry lovers, I have another one for you. This one is Israfel by Edgar Allan Poe. A friend of mine said that they preferred Edgar Allan Poe's writing to H.P. Lovecraft's writing, and I was instantly reminded of the very first poem I ever memorized as a kid. I had to have been about 13 or 14, so I decided to take up my collection of Poe's works and re-memorize it for you guys. So here we go. So much sympathy for blind people right now. Israfel by Edgar Allan Poe. In heaven, a spirit doth dwell, whose heartstrings are a lute. None sing so wildly well as the angel Israfel. When the giddy stars, so legends tell, ceasing their hymns, attend the spell of his voice, all mute. Tottering above in her highest noon, the enamored moon blushes with love, while to listen, the red ribbon, with the rapid play eats, even which were seven, pauses in heaven. And they say the starry choir and other listening things, that Israfeli's fire is owing to that lyre by which he sits and sings, the trembling living wire of those unusual strings. But skies where angel trod where deep thoughts are a duty, where love's a grown-up god, where the hurry glances are imbued with all the beauty which we worship in a star. Therefore, thou art not wrong, Israfeli, who despises the unimpassioned song. To thee the laurels belong, best barred, because the wisest merrily live and long. The ecstasies above with thy burning measures suit, Thy grief, thy joy, thy hate, thy love, with the fervor of thy lute, may well the stars be mute. Yes, heaven is thine, but this is a world of sweets and sours. Our flowers are merely flowers, and the shadows of thy perfect bliss is the sunshine of ours. If I could dwell where Israfel hath dwelt and he were I, he might not sing so wildly well a mortal melody, while a bolder note than this might swell from my lyre within the sky. Thanks again for watching, you guys. I'll have another one for you soon. Till next time.